In this episode, we'll show you chroma keying in action. Let's see a few examples. Now here is a scene from a talk show with people sitting in front of a blue screen. But what you see on TV is this. The blue screen has been replaced with a nice background. In this second example, we have a lady in front of a green screen. But what the user sees is this. The green screen is gone and the lady now appears standing in the newsroom. So how is this done? Well this is all made possible using a technique called chroma keying. Now the weather channel on TV and the movie industry use this technique all the time to create special effects. The technique of filming in front of a green screen or blue screen is known as green screen or blue screen compositing. The technique of making the green background transparent is known as chroma keying. And the word keying is used because you are keying out a particular color to make it transparent. The green color is often used because subjects in the movie rarely use this color and green does not match the skin tone of humans and therefore it's easy to isolate this color. So let's try chroma keying. First, we have many animated backgrounds here in the library. Let's drag this animated background clip to the video track. This will be our background video. Now let's drag this lady with the green background onto overlay track 1. Right click on the preview window and select fit to screen. Now double click the overlay track to bring up the options panel over here. Click mask and chroma key. Then click apply overlay options. As soon as you do that, notice that the green background is gone and the underlying video on the video track shows through. This is because Video Studio automatically recognizes green as the predominant color in the video. As you can see over here, it also pre-selects it as the color of the overlay mask. Now if this is the wrong color, you can always use this eyedropper and drag it around the preview to pick another color. Video Studio also provides this sensitivity slider to adjust the tolerance of the mask. So that's something you might need to play with in case your background does not show through clearly. OK, so let's preview our project. So that's chroma keying. Now using the same technique, you can be creative and use any background. Here are a few examples.